Another day, another dollar. Ah, well, we've had some great guests on and many more to come. And not, but not many of our guests here on Camp Midnight can boast of having been in over a hundred television episodic episodes. Is that a right word, Scooter, episodic episodes? No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You, uh, Scooter, you'll see that's cut out of the final show and they won't be in, right? You're my buddy, right? My buddy, my pal? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm your friend. Thanks. You yeah. sit there in that editing booth and get that out of there. Um, anyway, our next Camp Midnight Chatter has done that uh, many times. Plus, he's the only guest who has ever answered to the warning, Danger, Danger, Will Robinson. Please welcome Bill Moomy. Yeah. All right, Bill. Hello there. There's a chair. There you go. Scooter. Ah. Yeah, well, you you probably like Mr. Scooter because you're quite a music guy, aren't you? Absolutely. Huh? I mean, he does it all by himself. Isn't that's that something? Pretty good. Is it the music? You mean? <laughs> well, yes. that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that dirty? Was that dirty, Scooter? Yeah. We'll check on that. How in the world are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Boy, I tell you what, we we have watched you grow up before our very eyes, Bill. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Thirty years. I've been. Uh, I got my union card thirty, 30 years, years ago. ago. Yeah. God, how, how many years was Lost in Space involved? Uh, in we question? did the pilot in '64, and it ran through '68, so four years. We did about '83. Episodes yeah. Isn't that. it something that we watch it so much in reruns? It seems like you maybe did uh, a couple, 20 years of this type, type of thing. Yeah, eternally in syndication. It's still running all over the planet. You know? I had one question about uh, Lost in Space. Um, the mother, you know, your June mother. June Lockhart. June Lockhart. Right. Uh, I had a feeling that no matter where you guys went, she would always have freshly made mayonnaise sandwiches on the show. Huh? <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll tell you something about June. Everybody uh, thinks of June Lockhart as being the, the perfect mother and real conservative and everything, yeah. lassie and then Lost in Space and stuff. She is such a rock and roll woman. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> we, when we were on Lost in Space, she used to have the Allman Brothers Band come down and play on the set. Really? For us and stuff. <laughs> she used to take me and Angela Cartwright to the Whiskey A Go Go to see uh, all sorts of different rock and roll acts. What a neat lady. You yeah, know, she's did, great. Uh, did you ever ever um, experience any of the problems that child stars had when they grew up? Of course, you've continued working so much, but so many child stars grow up, they get into alcohol, drug problems and things, and then they, you know, did you experience that type of a problem? Uh, no, I never had any problems with alcohol or drugs. So. Would you like to? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Say the magic word. Right? No, no. Uh, Party at Scooters know. after the show. Yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, when, you, when you've worked a lot as a kid and... Uh, then you, you, you get to be uh, past puberty. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you feel you're in competition with a prepubic self in a way, and everybody always remembers you for stuff you did when you were really little. Sure, but, yeah. uh, but I've just kept on going. When I wasn't working a lot as an actor, I was working as a musician. And when I wasn't working as a musician, I was working as a writer or a, a yeah, producer. Yeah, you've, uh, you've worked with uh, a couple of groups now. What, uh, you've been touring with who now? Yeah, well, um, my own band, Barnes & Barnes. Yay! Have, uh, yeah, thank you. all right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You know, well, let, let, yeah, let's talk about Barnes and Barnes. I think you sure. brought a clip from them, didn't you? I did. What is this song we're going to see? This is one of our earliest pieces. It's yeah. uh, it's called Fish Heads. Uh, Fish Heads. Wait, you know, we wanted to write a nice, simple little love song, but this is what came out. So. <laughs> All right, let's watch Fish Heads. Here we go. Barnes and Barnes on Camp Midnight. Roll that in here. Fish heads, fish heads, is charged, you know. What were you mixing in your it. soft drinks that night when you wrote Ooh. that song? Huh? Oh, I can't That's tell you. Crazy. Producing that was so odiferous an experience. <laughs> we, we had this, this small budget to make that video with, and we would keep these fish heads in the freezer for like Ooh. weeks at a time. Ooh. It was very funky. Very <laughs> funky. What else have you been doing in music? Uh, America. You've been doing something? I've, I've uh, yeah. co-written eight songs on the last three America albums, and I go out and play with those guys, play guitar with them on the road a bit Still in the doing studio. That? Yeah, we're going to be at the Amphitheater in L.A. in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Here and uh, and Barnes and Barnes just spent the last 15 months uh, producing and writing all the music for uh, the debut album by Crispin Glover, mm -hmm. the actor from uh, uh. Back to the Future and The Rivers. Sure. He's a he's a strange kind of guy. He's 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 very intense. You know, <laughs> best known maybe for. Uh, 
karateing David Letterman on the late night <laughs> show. But uh, this is a weird record. It's coming out in June, and it's it's kind of like a cross between uh, Mr. Rogers meets Jim Morrison in Hell. It's a <laughs> very eclectic piece. That's great. Look forward to hearing that. Now, <laughs> oh on, yeah, I, I really will. Or now, not? Uh, on, on PBS, you did something here. You wrote. Uh, yeah. This is kind of nice for the old resume. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Uh, I scored three episodes of a PBS series called The Universe and I, um, kind of an educational science fiction show. They called me up to do the lead guest shot in an episode uh, where I played a psychiatrist with an alien in my care. So it was kind of like lost in space in a bit. You know, I had this person from another planet. Nobody believed it, but it was true. Yeah. Uh, so I ended up um, scoring musically three episodes of the show, which was a great, great time for me. I'd like to do more of that. Are you, really are you married? Family yes, at all? I'm, I'm married. My wife Eileen is, is here tonight. Mm. We have a little three month old fetus in her stomach right now. All right, good. Going away. All right. Yeah. Any names in mind yet? Any names? Well, um, we we're thinking of uh, Kareem Abdul Mumi, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, not yet. We're not sure what. Here's a good one. Saying. You've got a home video or something called. Zabagabi? Uh, Zabagabi. Zab Zabagabi? Zabagabi? All right, that's yes. a great name. Uh, yeah. That's Barnes & Barnes' new 45-minute home video package. Uh, it includes fish heads and all of our other shorts. And Zabagabi uh, means yeah. uh, party naked in Lumanian. Oh, does it really? Yeah. Take that and use that in your life, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. It's a rule of thumb that we try to live by. Bill, would you sign a cup for us? Huh? Would I sign a would cup? Would you do that? Yes, please? I would. We'd love to have it here forever. My Bill Moomy, signing, writing, and signing and biting all here on right. Camp Midnight. Watch for him everywhere, all Thank right? Thank you, Mr. Wilson. There he is, Bill Moomy. <laughs> on Camp Midnight.